the trend line indicator which is offered for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and run it on your chart. Additionally, traders can read this page to learn about the functionality and operation of the indicator. From the navigator section, we select the indicator file and run the indicator by dragging the file onto the chart. Once the indicator is placed on the chart, it begins to identify fractal points on the price chart. The trend line indicator uses extremum and fractal points to draw trend lines on the chart, allowing traders to identify upward or downward trends in the market. By using these lines, they can enter buy or sell trades in the market. In the Settings section, under the Input tab, there are options available for us. In the first part, we can set the calculation time frame, where we can choose from the current time frame, the one we are currently in, or select any time frame from one minute up to one month. In the next section, we can set the fractal calculation period, which is set to 25 by default. The higher we set this value, the longer term periods it will identify for us, and the lower we set this value, the shorter term fractal periods it will display. In the next section, we can set the distance value for the fractal points, which is based on the ATR multiplier and is set by default to 0.2 ATR. In this section, we can specify the distance of the upper and lower points from the candlestick, that is, how far these points are positioned away from the candlestick itself. In the next section, we can set the color of the trend lines. Here, there are four options. The color for upper trend completed, upper trend uncompleted, lower trend completed, and finally, the color for lower trend uncompleted. We can change each of these to any color we like. In the last two sections, we can also set the thickness of the completed trend break lines, which are gold, and the uncompleted ones, which are blue and red. Here, we can adjust their thickness to our desired value. In MetaTrader 5, the settings are different, and here we have four parameters. In the first section, we can set the number of candles to the left of an extremum point so that it checks them when drawing the extremum. In the next section, we can set the number of candles to the right of the extremum point for it to check. In the third section, we can set the distance of the extremum point from the current candle for it to perform the check. And in the last section, we can choose whether or not to include the candle before the extremum in the calculations. By selecting this option, we can set it to either false or true. For example, in this case, I choose to select the 4-hour time frame from the available options, then I set the fractal period parameter to 31, and after that, I adjust the point distance value so that it is set to 1. Once all these settings have been configured as needed, I proceed to click the Confirm button to apply the changes. As you can see here, the calculation period is set based on the 4-hour time frame, and the fractal points are spaced farther apart relative to the candles, allowing us to observe longer-term trends on the chart. Well, friends, we've reached the end of this indicator tutorial. I'd be glad if you share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.